¿De dónde eres? De acá de Colombia. Medellín. Colombia. I love you. Estamos aquí en Medellín, Colombia. I'm currently paragliding over 2,500 feet in the air. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a compilation of my adventures in El Poblado, the most popular neighborhood in Medellín. Join me as we get into some of the madness this country has to offer. Let the Latin America vlogs begin. Vamos! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, soy de Americano. Okay, no more say soy de Americano. This is uh, muy, muy chimba. <laughs> This is so cool. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, it's very smooth. It's flying very smoothly. It doesn't feel too crazy. Not as crazy as uh, parasailing in Thailand, but still insane. I hope you guys can hear me. So I'm here in El Poblado with a good friend and we just met up for some drinks, we caught up and now we're gonna walk around and show you guys what the wealthiest part of Medellin looks like. So El Poblado is one of the safest and wealthiest neighborhoods in not just Medellin but all of Colombia. Here you can find a lot of international and national restaurants, cafes, bars. They have it all here. <laughs> Very nice. They have tourists from all over the world that come here in Medellin. Very beautiful. What's up, man? No tengo, lo siento. So right now we're in a very foresty area here in El Poblado. Give you guys a quick look. The modern shops scattered around the area and the trees gives you this cozy feeling. Feels like you're in some kind of, I don't know, peaceful, lukewarm forest. It's pretty cool. They have some reggae music playing in the background. Now it gets real crazy here at night. I'm gonna show you guys what the El Poblado region looks like at night. Um, yeah, it's a completely different vibe. Right now it's very chill, you know, laid back. People just grabbing a coffee, maybe grabbing, grabbing a drink, eating out during the daytime. But at night there's a lot of, a lot of crazy activity going on, a lot of partying, a lot of drinking. So I'm currently in a restaurant with my good friend here. And we got some traditional Colombian food called arepas. This is yours? Okay. And this is mine. My arepa has chicken, cheese, and tomatoes. Hogado. Hogado. What, what is hogado? Tomato with uh, onion. Okay. Cooked. Cooked. Okay. So we're going to try some arepas for the first time in Colombia. See, um, I think I have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Mustard? No. No? Okay. Pineapple. Pineapple sauce. Pineapple. Oh, they have, they have pineapple sauce here in Colombia. That's crazy. 
and honey mustard. Yeah. Maybe tal vez. Que que es? Eh, it's ketchup with uh, May mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Okay, they have ketchup with mayonnaise. Interesting uh, <laughs> selection of sauces here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it without any sauce. First time trying arepas. Let's go. Like. It was really good. It's really good. Um, it's a little on the dry side, so I'm gonna add some sauce to it, but it's really good. I like it. That's good. You like? You like this? I stop again. I've never had ketchup and mayonnaise. Uh, together. Como se dice together? Algo? No. Como se dice juntos? Juntos. Let's try pineapple sauce. <laughs> pineapple sauce is uh, good. Pineapple sauce is good. It's really good. It's uh, popular in Colombia. Very popular. Uh, okay, we... Oh, okay, that's uh, interesting. Um, we don't use uh, pineapple sauce in the States. In Estados Unidos, no usamos uh, uh, pineapple sauce. Salsa de pineapple. ¿Cómo se dice pineapple? Piña. Piña. Salsa de piña? Okay. Me alegro te gusta beer aventuras. Porque yo voy una cita con chica y uh, chica quiere dinero. <laughs> dinero no para sexo, dinero por bebé. Sí, ella es uh, madre. Sí, uh, ella quiere dinero para bebé. Crazy. <laughs> she, she asked me on first date. <laughs> asked me for. She asked me for money on first date. Cita primera. What did you say? No. I I call taxi and leave. Mm, yeah. No es bueno. <laughs> Why? You never ask men for money. O porque muchas chicas aquí ask for money. Why no? I work for uh, half my own taxes. Okay. I don't need. Do you cook mm. huevos? Pollo. <laughs> pollo, not polla. <laughs> um, uh, steak. Si, sí, arroz. Baca. <laughs> Ani pa. Baca. No sé, pero pero <laughs> carne carne de hamburguesa, pollo, huevos, arroz. Um, pescado, salmon. Aquí es. Carne de res o de cerdo. De cerdo. Cerdo pig. Uh, no sé uh, cocina pig. Solo uh, cow. cow. Carne de res. Carne de res. De res. De res. Carne de res. Ok, carne de res. <laughs> Nada más. ¿Y tú? ¿Tú sabes cocinar? Sí. Uh, ¿Qué? <laughs> Arroz, huevo, carne, pollo, eh, alguna sopa. 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 ¿Qué es sopa? S O U P. S O U P. Oh, entiendo. Okay. ¿Tú sabes cocinar arepas? No. No. Okay. Pero aquí compramos. Solo es calentarlas un poco ya. Mm, okay. 
Necesito, necesito Google Translate. So I'm currently in El Poblado. I'm here at a popular mall called Santa Fe, and I met a good friend here. But I can't show you guys on camera. Met her, talked to her for a bit, and we got some ice cream. I got a milkshake, and she got some uh, ice cream and crepas. I'm still in Santa Fe Mall, and I linked up with a good friend here. I ran into her, talked to her for a bit, exchanged contacts, and now we're just chilling, enjoying a drink. Pretty nice view here. It's a very beautiful mall. So I'm currently in El Centro Comercial Santa Fe. It's one of the largest malls here in Medellin. They actually don't let you film in here, so I have to be quick about this. Um, it's a security guard over there. So I came here, I met up with two girls, and um, well, I met them here, and I was able to land two dates here. Just checking out the place, talking to some people, the people here in Colombia, in Medellin, they're very easy going. And here in Santa Fe Mall, it has five floors. It's a very big mall, very beautiful mall. And over 460 stores and small shops here. Pretty cool. Medellin, Colombia, Airbnb tour. Let's get it. So as soon as you walk in, we have the living room, nice little table, about a 30 inch TV, nice black chair. And then there's a really cool view out here. You could see the buildings, the trees, the nice green grass, really cool. And then over here we have a kitchen area, a couple chairs, you could sit down and eat, sink, fridge, provide us with some water freezer they got a little trash can over here stove a nice modern stove Ooh, look at that a blender coffee maker oven got a bathroom over here sink soap towel and over here we have a little mini hallway with a desk area nice chair light and then if you open this door you have a washer could hang your clothes and then we have another view this area in medellin is called Baylen. you could actually see the mountains out in the distance really really cool view um, master bed bigger TV slightly bigger this looks like it's about 40 inches and over here is the bathroom mirror sink toilet shower and over here is a walk-in closet you can hang more of your clothes put shoes here and a flat iron to iron out your clothes. Pretty cool. And this is what $30 per night will get you in Medellin, Colombia. That peso to dollar conversion goes a long way. It's real nasty. So I'm currently headed to pick up this girl I met last week. We met last week in El Poblado. We had a few drinks and we went into a club in um, Parqueras and danced for a bit. It was pretty lit. So I'm here with my friend. <laughs> And we're gonna get some food. Huh? Um, we, we, uh, nosotros caminar ahí. Ahí. Ahí primero, entonces volveré. 
¿Cómo se dice nosotros, volveré? Venimos. Venimos? Ah, no, volveré. Ah, no, volví. Okay. Right now we're in Provenza. It's a very popular spot here in um, El Poblado. We're gonna walk around and then swing back around and get something to eat. They have all sorts of fancy restaurants and bars here. Visita uh, El Poblado mucho? Está bien. So I'm here with my friend and um, we're about to get some food. We're in a restaurant, very nice restaurant. And I forgot her name. She found out that I forgot her name, not good. So I lost some points here. <laughs> so I got tacos. I don't know what the hell she got. Looks like some steak, arroz or something. Got some beer. <laughs> Muy bien. Es bueno. Mi alegro te gusta. Sí, está rico. Mira. Sí. Sí. <laughs> so they gave me some guacamole, some sauce to dip in, and it's a chicken taco. I think it's Colombian. So these chicken tacos are amazing. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. So now we just left the restaurant and me and my amiga here, we're going to Santa Fe Mall and she's taking over the production. Eh, sí, hay que caminar mucho, pero bueno, algo se hace. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> she's stealing my job. She's vlogging better than me. So we're in some very peaceful neighborhood in, um, El Poblado. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. It's a nice day out. Very beautiful day out. And we're not going to do any shopping. I'm just going to walk around and probably get ice cream, window shop, as I always do. And yeah, it'll be fun. Hello. Bueno. Donde? Vamos caminando hacia el mall Santa Fe. <laughs> bueno. Hey, perfecto. Yeah, she's doing a good job vlogging. I'm training her well. Training her to be a good vlogger, that is. So there's a lot of huge, nice apartments around this area in El Poblado. It's a very peaceful walk that we're on right now, headed to the mall. And we have some security guards staring, wondering what, what is this man doing with this uh, beautiful Colombian girl? What is he doing? Hola, señores. Como estas, bien? Bien, uh, uh, buen dia. <laughs> So if you look at the buildings here in El Poblado, it's very futuristic. We're now 14 minutes away from the mall with uh, my amiga here. And we're just gonna head straight forward on this uh, nice, beautiful day out in El Poblado. The population in Colombia is 51 million and in Medellin, 2.6 million. So it's not too overcrowded here. Medellin is known as the city of eternal springs because of its year-round nice weather, plants and flowers growing and blossoming all over the place. Very beautiful place. Two days paisa, see? Two days paisa, Medellin, Colombia. I love you. In Medellin. They call themselves Paisas, people who are born in the Antioquia region. More specifically in Medellin, they call themselves Paisas. Very interesting. Very beautiful scenery here in El Poblado. Very modern. Hola, mis amigos. 
Estamos aquí in Medellin, Colombia, and we're here at what is revered as one of the best spots for nightlife in Medellin, and that is Parque Lleras. Hola. <laughs> now, Parque Lleras is a park in El Poblado, the richest neighborhood in Medellin, and people come here to party, dance, eat a nice eat a nice meal and have a drink. I hope you guys can hear me. It's a party out here. So I'm gonna walk around the area and show you guys what it's like and then I'll probably grab a drink and talk to some people, talk to some girls. So Parque Lleras, I will admit, isn't the best. Hola, como estas? Uh, como te llamas? Luisa. Luisa? De donde eres? De acá, Colombia. Oh, um, tu eres una paisa? Sí. Um, trabajar aquí? Es a uh, buen, uh, buen club nocturno? Sí. Sí? Yo de discoteca electrónica. Ok. Um, primero, filmar Parque Lleras Bobaré. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Amalie. Amalie. Mucho sí, gusto. Sí. Mucho. mucho gusto. Look at that. Good vibes. Everybody is so welcoming. Have another nightclub here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of nightclubs. I think over there is the end of... It's an exit out of Parque Lleras. But I'm just going to show you guys the entire area. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna holler at some chicks um, before I leave here. But first, I wanna show you guys the area. We have a restaurant over here. This nightclub looks crazy. This, uh, this video is definitely gonna get copyrighted. Here we have another restaurant. And I think this is the exit of Parque Lleras. There's another club over there. But I'm gonna turn back around and I'm gonna show you guys the rest of Parque Lleras. When I go into the park area, you'll see a lot of working girls here. So Parque Lleras, while it is pretty lit, it's crazy. It's not the best representation of Colombia, especially Medellin. There are actually other good places here in Medellin that I will show you in the future. But for now, it's Parque Lleras. And I'm gonna show you another cool spot around the way in El Poblado. You can see a sign up there. It says, I love Medellin Parque Lleras. Foreigners from around the world and locals from all over Colombia come to Parque Lleras. I think down there might be another exit out of Parque Lleras. And here, here's a lot of, uh, a lot of working girls here. This is the uh, park area that I'm talking about. This looks like a sports bar. I really hope you guys can hear me. So I have no clue what's up here. Um, yeah, I have a lot of uh, a lot of working girls in this park area. They'll usually be standing out, dressed very nicely, waiting for business to come to them. Half of them will be waiting outside, and the other half will be waiting inside the bars and nightclubs here. So if you're into that kind of thing, it's definitely here. I would say it's the best spot to to pay for play. I personally am not into that, but to each his own. We have another club over here. I think I'm gonna um, pull up on some girls and uh, yeah, talk to some locals, see how this goes. Hola. 
Es a, es a buen, buen club nocturno. Sí, buen ¿Sí? club nocturno, mire. Uh, y full chicas, my friend. Rústico, sí, rústico. Rústico, rústico. Ok. Gracias, señor. second past of me entering the club and I got some action. Got a contact. Let's see what's down here. This looks like a working girl. So we're just gonna move past that. But yeah, the vibe here is super lit. I definitely need to watch my drink. And yeah, I wanna speak on that. In a lot of the major cities in Colombia, especially Medellin, they have a drug problem. A lot of tourists get drugged and robbed and the drug of choice that a lot of locals use is scopolamine. It's a very uh, beautiful club. What will happen is a lot of tourists will match with girls online or on a dating app like Tinder. They'll meet the girls at their place or at a nightclub and then they'll get drugged and robbed. And the primary way tourists get drugged is uh, by locals putting something in their drink. Scopolamine is a tasteless, odorless substance. And when you consume it, you're rendered defenseless. It puts you to sleep. Check out this nice club. Man, there's a lot of girls to talk to. But yeah, when you guys come out here, the key is to watch your drink at all times. I don't really recommend getting mixed drinks because there are reports of some bartenders putting stuff in locals' drinks. And I hate to paint Colombia badly, but I have to tell the truth and tell you guys what goes on here. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna finish this water and then I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some beer. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna talk to some locals. Chop it up with the locals. Hola, como estas? <laughs> so I got my drink. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna drink this and uh, holler at some locals, see how it goes. Definitely not these locals. They got some um, girls twerking and dancing at this one bar. Hola. Wow, shake it. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's bien, bien. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, hola, como estas? Uh, de donde eres? Cuantos años tienes? 25? Uh, ¿Cuántos años tienes? 21 21 21? Uh, ¿Tú eres... Uh... Sí no. <laughs> Está bien 
solo eh, es, escuchas amigas, solo filmar chicas bonitas, no, no feas. <laughs> um, gracias, um, gracias para uh, being in my video. I buy you two drinks. Yeah. Ha, um, shut, shut. Yeah, as I stated before, this is not the best representation of Medellin. A lot of the girls here want money, but that's not the case for most of the women in Colombia. Parque Eras kind of gives Colombia like a, a bad reputation. Um, those girls wanted money. Those girls, um, yeah. And that's kind of the issue with partying here is you go into these bars and the bar owner is pretty much hiring a bunch of working girls to fill in and act as genuine guests at their bar. So it kind of messes up the experience. It makes you feel like you're talking to a good girl, but you're actually talking to a working girl. called Provenza. I showed you all this area earlier. This area has a lot of uh, restaurants, a lot more than Parque Lleras. People come here to mainly eat and chill. It's much more relaxing, a little more classier than Parque Lleras. So here we have a lot of people sitting down chilling, just enjoying a nice drink. It's currently like 2 a.m. Saturday night, so it's like super lit. It stays lit out here in uh, El Poblado. And here in Provenza, there's not as many working girls. So definitely uh, better. Here's a very popular bar in uh, Provenza. It has three levels. It's a pretty good bar. I went there the other day. And over there, La House is one of the most popular bars in El Poblado. Now over there is another entrance or exit. They have this giant Medellin sign. Now usually the, uh, the Medellin letters are usually lit up. Um, I guess the lights are out tonight. Peace. Like it. Sí, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs>